Hello, we have a break in the weather. It's perfect, I have time. We're gonna go do some beekeeping. So let's get the show on the road. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. We're in my apiary today. I've got one beehive going. And if you remember, I went down to a beekeeping festival down in Orland, California last month and picked up a package of bees and we rehomed them to this hive. I've been checking in on the bees periodically and they've been doing great. They've been growing and building out the empty frames as suspected. This breed of bees I have never worked with before, so it's kind of new to me. I hear the temperament is a lot more polite than the other bees. These are called the Saskatchewan bees. They are primarily a Canadian, um, uh, with you know, Canadian genetics. So these would be more acclimated to my terrain being in a higher elevation, colder and wet climates, and that's what we're looking for so I don't have to babysit them so much like the Italian bees or the Anatolian bees uh, that are more European. So let's get started and I'll explain to you what I'll be doing with the hives. The first thing I want to do is get dressed up in my beekeeping gear. Uh, because I'm not familiar with this breed of bee and not comfortable with them as far as if they're going to be aggressive when I open that hive. So I'm going to go ahead and protect myself and I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, I'm back and now I'll get my tools and we'll go up to the hive. I am using a combination of sugar and water to squirt the bees. I got my hive tool and my uh, frame lifter.
Oh, that is really good pattern in there. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to do what they call checkerboarding. I spread the uh, frames. I'm going to put an empty frame here and an empty frame here. And we're going to expand so I can split the hives here in a couple of weeks. Let me pull a frame out and let's look at it. And I'll show you what these bees are doing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They're drawing that comb out just like they're supposed to. Okay, we're going to set empty frames right down in between them. Oh, look at capped, brood. Oh, that's beautiful. Good pattern. This is what I hoped to see in here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the inner cover back on. Come on, ladies. No squishies. Put the outer cover back on. And we're done. The bees were not as aggressive as I thought they would be. I'm very pleased with their temperament. Uh, 
yeah I treated them with respect I worked my frames very slow and the process I did was called checkerboarding I spread the frames and put two empty frames in between some full frames and that will encourage the bees to draw out those frames with wax and give the queen the ability to have more cells to lay brood in to grow my hive bigger now next week uh, weather permitting I'm gonna come back out here and check the hive again and then I'm going to put a, uh, another super on top of this. It will be a brood frame, a deep, and we're a brood chamber, and we're going to have bees. My plan for splitting the hive is uh, letting the bees come up and lay brood in the upper chamber. And once we get brood in there and uh, worker bees, I'm going to go ahead and have them all go back down, force them all back down to the lower frames. Put a queen excluder on to keep the queen down below and bring and then some worker bees will come up to the upper frames and then i can take that hive and set it aside on a new platform and then i'll drive down to orland california and buy another saskatchewan queen so i'll have two hives okay excuse me while i put my tools away and uh, take my beekeeping equipment off i'll be right back with you while I'm here, I'm also going to uh, put out this yellow jacket trap and hang it around here because I do not want yellow jackets to be getting into my hives. So we're going to add this feature also to my beehive yard. And I thought this was a cool idea to control yellow jackets and I got a wasp trap up there. And this one, we have to add water. So let's add the bait, add the water, and I'll be right back. Okay, the instructions are to open this, pull the string, open that up. There we go. And then this is the bait, and it says to add the warm water. So we take the bait, squeeze in there, add warm water. Fill to that line, and then seat this down on their little seating posts. Bingo! And then hang it in place. I'm gonna hang it right here. So now I got uh, two types of yellow jacket traps and I'm going to compare the two. The one I put up a couple of weeks ago and it's only drawn a couple of them. But this one has a bait. The other one did not have a bait that I noticed. And the bait's supposed to stink like meat or something like that because that's what tr attracts them. It will not attract a honeybee because a honeybee is not after meat. They're after other sources of food and protein. Well that concludes this video in the apiary here doing some maintenance on the beehives and in the bee yard and trying to set up some deterrence on what uh, took my bees in the past or may have taken my bees in the past. I know last year we had some problems with those bald faced hornets or black faced hornets mm -hmm. and a skunk found their nest and took care of them for me. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me in the beeky, Homestead Beekeeping Series. Stay tuned to, uh, for more videos. I'll be out next week and we'll do some more maintenance on that other hive. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and also share my videos on social media. You can follow me on social media by going to Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Google+, not Google+, Blogger, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Tumblr and uh, LinkedIn. I'll see you guys in more videos. Bye bye.